Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So in this tutorial we are going to study about the low molecular weight weight heparin. So as we have earlier discussed that heparin is divided into two main groups those which work in vitro and those which work in vivo. Those which work in vivo are further classified into high molecular weight heparin, which I have earlier discussed into low molecular weight heparin. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the low molecular weight heparin. So, the low molecular weight heparin has a molecular weight of about 1 to 3 kilodalton in contrast to the high molecular weight, which has a molecular weight of about 30 kilo dalton. And it is produced from, from the high molecular weight by the frictionation. Frictionation. So that's why it is also called frictionated. Frictionated heparin. So now coming towards its drugs which are included in the low molecular weight heparin. Enoxa, Ferrin, Diltiferin, Tenzaferin, Tenzaferin, Ardiferin, and Riviferin. Riviferin. So they all You can see that they are, are characterized by the suffix ferrin, ferrin, ferrin. As we have discussed that it has a low molecular weight. So it has only the binding site for antithrombin. Antithrombin. And no other site for the floating vectors like vector 2, 9, 11, 12, 2, 9, 11, 12, 13, etc. So it has no effect on these vectors. But we have also discussed that the vector 10, vector 10 does not need to be simultaneously bind to the both the heparin and anti thrombin for its deactivation. It can be deactivated only by its binding to the by its binding to the antithrombin like this which induced the conformational change in this and thus inactivated. The only role of this low molecular weight heparin is to increase the potency of antithrombin by about so, as we have discussed, it has no effect on the vectors like 2, 9, 2, 2, 2, 2 is called thrombin through 9, 2, 9, 11, 12, 13. So, a monitoring of activator partial thromboplastin time is not required. In contrast to the high molecular weight heparin, which in which in which need the monitoring of the PVC activated thromboplastin time. And the reason for this is that the regulation is a cascadic. Cascadic process
in one unit of vector 10 can activates about 40 units of thrombin so inhibiting this vector 10 inhibiting this vector 10 prevent the formation of about 40 units of thrombin and thus it prevents the increased level of anti thrombicity i.e. bleeding coming towards the more important points important points regarding low molecular weight heparin is that their action cannot be completed completely reversed by the protamine sulfate also they should be also there should be complete monitoring of activated from the plasma thromboplastin time in patient having renal failure because the spectral 10 can be excreted through urine also they have lower chances of thrombocytopenia heparin induced thrombocytopenia and osteoporosis Here adverse effects are same as that of the high molecular weight heparin like bleeding, hypersensitivity reaction, reactions, osteoporosis and thrombocytopenia, but lower chances, reversible helophikia. Let's start for today. Thank you. Jazakallah.